Greg Ehrenberg from Odd Shopper. We're going to break down another NBA slate, and we've got a big one on Friday. So as you guys come in, like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and I always appreciate your comments below just to see whatever it is that, one, you guys think about my bets, whether you agree or you disagree with them, or sometimes you guys have your own bets, and I like to hear what it is you're betting and maybe some reasons as to why, because there could be times that somebody has a really good angle that I missed, and I'll tell you guys from time to time if I think it is something that is a plus EV bet, and We've had a bunch of them around here as of late because for the third consecutive day last night, we swept the betting, cor- uh, betting card, won all of our bets. Now, it was only two of them because it was a four-game slate, but they both won really easily. I had Kevin Porter Jr. over one and a half threes. I believe he hit his second three five minutes into the game. And then I had Jamal Murray over one and a half threes, and he hit his second three six minutes into the game. So two bets that I had overs on and three-point props, and both of them cash really, really early in the first quarter. So sweat-free night to uh, really sweep the betting card. And it's good. Always always fun when I come on here and recap some winning bets. And as you guys know, whether they win or lose, I come and recap them anyway. But it's been a really profitable NBA year. And we've had on some really, really hot streaks. And this is one going on right now as of late. So if you guys want more access to not just myself, but all of the other guys on the YouTube channel as well, we've got our premium betting Discord channel that you can get one week free access to by signing up, clicking on the link below. But let's break down the Friday NBA slate. It's a big one. We've got 11 games to talk about. These are my favorite bets. Now to start us off here, I'm going back to the well with a bet that we won on the other day. Ben Simmons over five and a half rebounds. I do not understand how this prop has not been set higher at this point. Ben Simmons, last game, we bet him over five and a half rebounds. He had six in the first half, finished the game with nine. It was an easy win. Other recent games for Ben Simmons, uh, six rebounds against the Spurs. He had a couple of games where he played limited minutes and didn't hit that mark. But then before that, nine rebounds against the Cavs, 11 against the Bucs overall for the year. Ben Simmons is averaging 6.7 rebounds per game, and he's doing that in 27 minutes. And the reason the minutes are low is because at times he's been restricted this year, either coming back from injury or just times that he was limited in coming off the bench. It's not the case anymore. When you look at Ben Simmons now, in competitive games, we're typically getting upwards of 30 plus minutes from him in games that are competitive and that he avoids getting into any kind of foul trouble. And if you look at the spread for today's game, it should be pretty competitive. The Nets are favored, but only by four and a half points. So the most likely scenario is a competitive basketball game. And then what other angle to add to this as well? TJ Warren is questionable. If he is out, not that he's somebody that all of a sudden opens up a massive amount of playing time, but it is a few more minutes that would go to Ben Simmons and would really solidify him playing 30 plus minutes tonight. So five and a half rebounds, pretty low number for a guy in Ben Simmons, who's uh, really quietly had an outstanding year for the Nets, particularly on the defensive end. So I'm going to open up our betting card with Simmons over five and a half points. We are sponsored here by DraftKings Sportsbook. We're going to give you guys $200 when you sign up for the first time. All you have to do is click on the link in our description box. And when you place your first $5 bet on DK, it's going to pay out $200 regardless of whether that bet wins or loses. And it pays you out instantly. So here's what I think you should do. Ben Simmons, that over five and a half rebound prop, it's available at a few books, DraftKings being one of them. Fire up Ben Simmons over five and a half boards. You place $5 on it. Hopefully the bet wins, but even if it doesn't, you're winning $200 anyway. So take advantage of this offer. Just make sure that when you do sign up at DraftKings Sportsbook for the first time, use our link below because that link is going to be needed to sign up and make sure you get you credited with your $200 when that first bet settles. And once again, I'm recommending Ben Simmons over five and a half rebounds as the first bet that you place over at DraftKings. The next bet I'm looking at is under 10 and a half assists for Trey Young. And he's among the league leaders in assists this year, averaging just under 10 assists per game, 9.9. And 11 is just a really high bar for Trey Young to get to. And he's had some big assist games as of late, but still, I mean, against the Indiana Pacers, he had 10 assists in that game and he needs 11. So since... December 23rd, we've actually only seen one game from Ben Simmons that he's gone over 10 and a half assists, and that was a 14 assist game against the Warriors. And then overall for the year, one of the things that really does raise the assist average for Trey Young is he actually only has one game where he's had 11 assists. When he has big assist numbers, we've actually typically seen it to be 14 or more from him. So overall for the year, out of the 34 games that we've seen out of Trey Young, he's only had 11 or more assists in 12 of them which means that the majority of the games, almost all of them actually, 22 out of 34, we've seen him hit the under on this assist prop. So we have him projected over in our projections in BetPro, the newest pop, the newest prop betting tool that we have over at stochastic.com. 
we have Trey Young projected for 9.1 assists. So the under expected to win north of 60% of the time. Too high of a number. I think 9.5 would be the fair mark. 10.5 a little bit too high. I'm siding with the under 10.5 assists on Trey Young. And now my final bet of the day. It's a plus money bet on OG Ananobi over 1.5 steals. He's actually had multiple steals in three of his last four games. And overall for the year, Ananobi's averaging 2.2 steals per game. That's where it's crazy to me that we're getting plus money on the over one and a half steals. We got a guy who's had multiple steals in more games than not this year, averaging 2.2. So the one and a half mark, you know, it's not the worst line in the world, but it should be like a minus 120 or minus 130 on the over. And instead we're getting the plus money mark on it. We've got an OB, on an OB projected for just under two steals in our projections today. And just the minutes too, that you see out of these starters for the Toronto Raptors, Nick Nurse knows no other way to coach games other than to run his starters into the ground. So just listen to some of these recent games out of OG Ananobi. Last game against the Box, he played 46 and a half minutes. The game before against the Pacers, he played 40 minutes. So we've just seen some games where Ananobi, if he stays out of foul trouble, massive, massive playing time. The game before that against the Suns, 29 and a half minutes, but five personal fouls lost time due to foul trouble. Before that, 35 minutes, 44 minutes, 38, 36, 41. And the 41 minute game was coming off a two week absence due to injury. Ananobi is going to play a massive amount of minutes in a divisional rivalry game against the New York Knicks. And that's what really helps boost some of these counting stat totals, in particular the steals one here, which is plus money. So I like over one and a half steals for OG Ananobi. So recapping my three bets for today, trying to keep our hot streak going. Three consecutive days that we've swept the betting card, hoping to make it four in a row today. Ben Simmons over five and a half rebounds, Trey Young under 10 and a half assists, and then a plus money bet on OG Ananobi over one and a half steals. That's going to do it for me today, guys. Before you leave, like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and leave a comment below to let me know whatever your thoughts are on my bets or the NBA slate. Good luck. Have a great weekend.